Hello, this is Bern, and if you'd like to find out why the man you fell in love with is not falling in love with you, stick around because I'm about to demystify why this happens in our episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great live TV.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and I'm super excited to be sharing with you why the man you fell in love with or the man you want not in love with you. <laughs> Here, there's so many reasons why this happens, and I see so many women suffer necessarily. But some of these reasons include a guy is not willing to commit, he doesn't want to commit, he's just having fun, he just came out of a painful relationship, he doesn't really feel aligned to you, you're not his type. So those are all a specific category that I'm not gonna talk about right now. I am going to focus on right now, what about when the guy is commitment-minded, he's looking for a relationship, he finds you charming and attractive, and still he's not falling in love with you. Why does that happen? And I'm gonna share with you right now that one of the most common reasons when that, why that happens is because women nowadays, and for maybe for many, many years, have fallen prey to this myth called the Prince Charming myth. Prince Charming myth means that there's this dude out there who wants to fall in love with someone who's not in love with herself. Meaning, here you are, awesome woman, right? Who's not really feeling in love with yourself, not feeling in love with your life. And I'll, I'll explain each one separately. In love with yourself means that you consider yourself to be not intellectually, but from your heart, an amazing woman who has a lot of value to offer, who has a lot of openness to share, who has expressiveness, who has playfulness, who has passion inside, who has intelligence. When you don't feel that way about yourself, you feel like there's something, always something missing. You're always comparing yourself to someone else. And you feel like there's a deep lack of who you are when you, connect with men, that's one of the reasons that the guy is not falling in love with you. The other one is when you're not in love with your life. You are going about your life thinking that you could be so much more passionate about your work or change your job altogether, that you could have so much more deep and rich relationships with your family members, with your friends, and you're not creating them, that you could be contributing so much more and align yourself with a deeper calling or purpose, and you're not doing it. Well, when that happens, the, the myth is that there's this guy out there that's going to come and love you unconditionally and fill up that entire void about the love you're not giving to yourself and the love you're not giving to your life. And the reason why that's a challenge is because two things. One, if the guy does fall in love with you and you're always feeling that sense of lack about both things, you're going to put so much pressure on the dude because he's feeling that void that he's going to feel smothered, overwhelmed and run for the hills. But the second reason is because it's incredibly unlikely that a human being that is of high caliber is going to fall in love with someone who's feeling a deep sense of lack in both her life and herself. So my suggestion to you would be super simple. If you want to turn this around, it's not as difficult as it seems. Figure out, sit down with a piece of paper and write down, the thing I need to fall in love with me is, and write something, write nonstop for a few minutes. Same thing with your life. The thing I need to fall in love with my life is and write nonstop. Now, some of the things that you'll write will be ridiculous. Don't stop yourself, don't censor yourself, just write nonstop. Because some of the things will say, well, you need to be a size two and you're a size 10. And you don't have to be a size two to love yourself, but you do need to feel that you're progressing in, in, in some areas of your life, that you need to feel that you love your curves or that you're getting healthy. So for you, that's step number three is just go do it. Figure out what are the things that you wrote that you need to have happen before you fall in love with your life and in love with yourself. Some of those things will be ridiculous. Scratch them off and see, enjoy the act of scratching them off. But some things will make sense. For example, if you hate your job, look for another freaking job. <laughs> if you have friendships that you don't feel are really deep, go out and make new friends. If you feel like there's not enough passion in your activities, find shit that you're passionate about and do it. If you feel about yourself now that you're not healthy enough, then get on a health plan. Uh, if you feel like you could be more expressive, then start slowly, day by day, expressing a little bit more of who you are and caring less about the way people think about you. So here's the thing. If you can manage to, in your own way, fall in love with who you are and create the kind of life that you fall in love with, having a guy fall in love with that is very easy. Having the standard to sustain your truth when a man doesn't show up a strong way, but you do feel in love with both you and your life is also easy. So my recommendation to you right now would be, instead of waiting for him to give you the, fill up the void 
that you're not feeling on your own, fill up that void yourself first. And then when the man comes around, higher caliber of man will connect with you, but also he'll feel a lot more passion for a lot longer. It's gonna be sustained much more deeply when you're consistently, even if the man is in your life doing the things that make you <laughs> shine out at your best. If you think this is helpful, insightful or useful, I'm gonna ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. And number three, on the description of this video or on your link right here, somewhere in your, <laughs> in your screen is gonna show, you're gonna see a way for you to sign up to a free webinar that I'm hosting that's gonna share with you how to find your soulmate in 90 days or less. Super powerful stuff and it's absolutely free. If you have any questions for me, please write a comment on this video and, and uh, ask anything and I'll reply to you personally or create a video just for you. <laughs> Thank you.